Good afternoon. This is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. Um, God said, let's make man in our image and in our likeness, and let them have dominion over everything. Okay? Every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. And then he said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, subdue, and have dominion. Okay, first of all, he said, make man in our image. So we are created in God's image. Now, he gave us dominion in his image and his likeness, and he gave us dominion over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. Then he told us to be fruitful. And I always thought, he said, be fruitful, having have babies, multiply, have more babies, replenish the earth, have more babies, and subdue it and have dominion. But that's not what it says. It says, be fruitful. That means in everything you set your hands to do, to be fruitful, to, to, um, to have abundance, to have more, to be successful in everything you set your hand to do. And he said, and multiply. That means make more of you, have babies. And then it says, replenish the earth. That means to fill up the earth to former fullness, um, to fill up the earth with the Garden of Eden, to fill up the earth with the Kingdom of God, um, to fill up the earth with God's goodness, heaven on earth. And then it says, subdue. That means to put everything in its place that is not in its place right now. Everything that's out of line, you're to subdue it and bring it back into line. And then he said, and have dominion over every living thing that creeps on the, creepeth on the earth. Okay. and. That means that you're the boss, and you tell it everything what to do according to God's standards. Okay, and this is where I want to go. Then he said, um, every herb-bearing tree, every air-bearing, every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth, and every tree in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed is to you for meat. Okay, right there, God showed me that every tree on this earth and every herb bearing seed was there for our food. We didn't have to work, we didn't have to toil because the seed is what we produced, our harvest is what produced what we had need of. That was our meat. That's seed time and har harvest and that's also um, reaping what you sow. Okay, then it goes on and it talks about the serpent um, being more subtle than all the other creatures and it came into the garden. And remember, uh, God said, uh, you may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God says, don't eat of it. Okay, and he says, if you eat of it, you will die. Okay, and also in the, in the garden was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the tree of, uh, of life. Okay, two trees in the garden. Now, what I want to share with you and propose to you, which I believe God showed me and is very exciting, those true trees in the garden were really the tree of knowledge of good and evil was really the tree of death um, that Satan brought unto the earth when he was thrown down to the earth and, and brought all this kill, steal, and destroying onto the earth before man even got there because the Holy Spirit was hovering over the earth. And there was darkness on the earth because Satan did something when he was kicked to the earth. He did something to it to make it a mess and try to take over it. So I believe that the two trees in the garden was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which I believe was the tree of death, and I'll show you why in a minute. And then the tree of life. Okay. Now, Satan said, I'm going to go back to that. Satan said, um, first of all, when Satan came to them, he said, has God not said... Okay, let me see if I can find it. Um, uh, okay. Okay, I don't have it here. The serpent was like, okay, he said, has God not, has God said, you shall not eat of the tree, every tree of the garden? That's not what God said. God said, you can eat of every tree of the garden except this one. Satan turned it totally around and he said, you shall, God said, you shouldn't eat of any tree in the garden. So he twisted, totally said the opposite of what God said. And then when Eve said, she said, we should not eat of that tree. We aren't even supposed to touch it. At least we'll die. God didn't say anything about touching it because they had to touch it to keep it. He said eating the fruit. Okay. So Satan also, let's go back to Satan what he said. He said, um, well, he says, you won't die. Like, okay, God doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't believe God. You aren't going to die. God lies to you. And then, to add insult to injury, he says, um, for God knows. In other words, God knows you aren't going to die. He's not telling you the truth, and he's holding back things from you. Okay? And he said, in the day you eat of that, your eyes will be open, 
and you'll be as gods. Well, they were already as gods because they were created in the image of God. Like begets like. A cow has a cow, a horse has a horse, a god has a god. Okay? God created us in his image. And um, so they were already like God. And he says, you shall be like gods. The devil says that you shall be like gods, knowing good from evil. Okay? Knowing good from evil. Well, the word knowing means experiencing evil. And evil means uh, all kinds of things which evil means. Bad, it means uh, all kinds of badness. Okay, now the reason... Okay, well let me go on here further and explain this. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasant to the eyes, and desire to make one wise. How much wiser can you get when you're created in God's image and likeness? Okay, so she ate the fruit, and then the eyes of both of them were open. Okay, now, what that means when the eyes of them were both were open, that meant that before this time, they were their spiritual eyes, ears, nose, and mouth uh, was aware of everything going around them. They lived in the spirit. They lived in a body, but they operated through the spirit. Um, the senses were not um, the thing that they lived by like we do today. What we see, hear, feel, taste, and touch in our world is what we believe only to be true. But in their world, what they see, hear, smell, taste, and touch in their spiritual body, because our spiritual body is a copy of our physical body. It says, taste and see that the word is good. Um, the Lord is good and the word was sweet to my taste. So anyway, it's all our spiritual body is just like our physical body. Uh, because earth is a copy of heaven. Okay, so when man fell here, their spiritual senses were closed, and everything now became physical senses. So their physical eyes were open to the fact that they were naked, because God said they were naked and they were not ashamed. Okay? They were naked and they were not ashamed, not till they ate the fruit. When the, these little gnats around here are bugging me. When they ate the fruit, then there, this is how they responded. When they ate the fruit, they responded with, um, they knew they were naked and they hid themselves from the presence of God. So they knew they were naked and they were ashamed, it said, okay? Because they ate from the fruit of death, the tree of life, the knowledge of life and death. Okay, they were, they were ashamed. In other words, when their eyes were open, to the tree of uh, the knowledge of good and evil, God said it would equal death. So that was how death came in. Death, the seed in that fruit, the fruit of tree of life, life, of knowledge of good and evil, that had seed in that fruit. And that seed went into them and produced death. It, it produced spiritual death. That means disconnected from God, which created physical death. That's how death came into the earth. But I never saw it before that that tree is exactly what it's called, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which would equal death. So it was a tree of death that they would begin to experience evil, which would produce death, and that seed went in them. And that's why everyone born out after Adam and Eve, like begets like, you reap what you sowed. Well, they sowed the seeds of death by eating the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, which produced death in them and in mankind, which I never saw it that way before. First thing that the, that the um, tree of death, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, produced was inferiority. Inferiority to God. Here they were walking and talking with God, and all of a sudden they, they were naked, they were not clothed. Remember, God is clothed with honor and majesty, uh, and they were clothed with the same thing God was clothed with, but their covering came off of them when they sinned, and um, they were no longer covered. Their spiritual body was no longer covered, so their so they're, a physical body was exposed and the first thing that they did was they became ashamed they became guilt conscious they became um, inferior conscious and uh, shame conscious they were ashamed they could no longer they hid themselves from the presence of God and isn't that where a lot of the body of the church is today okay so that is my revelation we do not we should not be sin consciousness inferior conscious uh, shame we are created in God's image Jesus bought us paid back paid us, paid the price for our sins so that we could be like God and carry God's presence in us. So my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and I'm out.